That is the end of part three. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part three. Part 4 You'll hear part of a lecture given by an anthropology professor. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer the questions 31 to 40. Most people today are familiar with the Aztec Empire, but it may surprise you to know that there is a great deal of disagreement over what kind of an empire it really was. This Aztec Empire history may surprise you. Now let's take a look at an Aztec timeline to get an overview of what happened during the times of this civilization. Collectively, the people of the allied central Mexican and American city-states between the 14th century and the 16th century Spanish invasion are commonly referred to as the Aztecs. The Aztec Empire was controlled primarily by a political body called the Triple Alliance. The Aztecs' capital city was located at Tenochtitlan, which is the site of the modern Mexico City, and their empire covered nearly all of the current country of Mexico, extending down into other regions of Central America as well. Then, progressing to the subject of food, Aztec food was a rich combination of many foods that we take for granted today. Not only is much of this rich diet still common in Mexico today, it spread around the world. Let's look at some of what the ancient Mexica peoples ate. Maize was the staple grain of the Aztec Empire. Maize has been domesticated for thousands of years and it likely first came into common use in Mexico, spreading to the rest of the world from there. Mexico is still one of the world's top maize-growing countries. Aztec food also included beans and squash. Of course, maize and beans are still a cornerstone of the Mexican diet. A healthy combination, especially if you're not eating a lot of meat. Okay, now, moving forward onto the area of clothing. Ancient Aztec clothing, that is, the clothing worn by the tribes that made up the Aztec Empire, such as the Mexica people, was rich in variety, and more importantly, it varied according to the social class that people belong to. Ancient Aztec clothing was generally loose-fitting and did not completely cover the body. When the Spanish arrived in Mexico, the people were surprised to see them in their full armor, with only their faces exposed. Aztec clothes were generally made of cotton, which was imported, or ayat fiber, made from the Megui cactus. Women would weave the fibres into clothing, a task girls were taught as young teenagers. Because of their vast trading network, the Aztecs were able to make use of a beautiful array of dyes, creating the brilliant colours still seen in Mexico today. Next, let's look at the education situation of the Aztec. The Mexico people of the Aztec Empire 
had compulsory education for everyone, regardless of gender or class. In the end, people in the Aztec society were generally well educated, though boys received a wider education than girls. Girls were taught how to run a home, cook, and care for a family, but they were also taught things like crafts and ways to economically run the home. In this way, women had a lot of power in society, though it was behind the scenes. Boys learned other trades and were also taught fighting skills and leadership skills. Finally, then, let's look at Aztec temples. Aztec temples were called by the Mexica people of the empire Teocali God Houses. The priests of the Aztec religion went to these temples to worship and pray and make offerings to the gods to keep them strong and in balance. How did they send their tribute? Well, Aztecs collected tribute from the various parts of Mexico that fell under their control. Much of this tribute was in the form of agricultural produce, such as cotton, maize, and beans, which supplemented the agricultural yield in and around Mexico Tenochtitlan. Tribute payers were also obliged to produce certain quantities of rare and precious goods. According to the tribute list preserved in the Codex Mendoza, these included jaguar pelts, deer skins, rubber, feathers, gold, jade, turquoise, seashells, warrior costumes, and even live eagles. That is the end of part four. You now have one minute to check your answers to part four. That is the end of the listening test. In the IELTS test, you would now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet.